Hey guys, today I've got a pretty incredible Thor custom minifigure here. Now, this is printed on official Lego parts and pieces, but it's got a brand new hair mold, an incredible cape mold, and the best Stormbreaker for a minifigure that I've ever seen. Now, this was made in collaboration between Lego Twang and Phoenix Custom Bricks, who of course I review a lot of their stuff here on the channel. You get it in this very cool plastic case with a gold shimmery card in the back. And then of course we have the minifigure, so let's take a closer look at that. Now this figure is based off of the Thor Love and Thunder outfit that we see briefly during the village attack. And it's kind of interesting because Lego's definitely not gonna make a figure for that since it was such a quick scene, kind of blink and you miss it. But the suit does look awesome and so does the printing on this custom. Starting with the legs, we have printing on all four sides, which is something LEGO doesn't do, but it looks awesome. And I love the continuity between the sides, the front toes, and just the way that all of the lines connect into each other, and even the way that the belt printing here connects up to the torso. Speaking of which, we've got an incredible torso print here too. Interestingly, no printing on the sides, not that there really needed to be, because not like there's a lot of detail there, but the front torso printing is great with all of those shimmery gold details. And then of course, we've got the amazing printing on the arms with the muscle printing on there we've got little gauntlets for him it really does look great and i love that the hands have the fingers cut out as well you can see that the cape piece is one solid plastic piece that sits on the body like this. I'll give you a quick spin around so you can see what the cape looks like before I put the head back on. And the head has two sides. We've got a Chris Hemsworth smirk on one side and then a bit more of a confused face on the other side. Definitely fitting for Love and Thunder. Now, if we put it on there, you can see he's also got a unique hair piece. So I'll put that hair piece on him here. You can see he's got some strands of blonde hair, which look really cool off to the side. Then it's all kind of tied up in the back and it really looks phenomenal. Now the best part of the figure to me is this Stormbreaker accessory. I love the way that all of the roots and kind of texture is printed into the actual handle. And I, of course, I love that silver shimmer that the hammer and ax side has too. So that is just a phenomenal inclusion here. So this is another great piece from Phoenix Customs. I'm very grateful that they sent it over for me to review. Be sure to check them out in the description down below. I'll link it there so you can check out all their other customs so you don't miss out. And let me know what you guys think of this one. Catch you guys on the next video. And until next time, build on.